The parents of Private Cheryl James have waited more than 20 years for this. Yeah, a long way. This was Cheryl training to be a soldier. She was 18. She died at Deep Cut after being found with a single bullet wound to her head. Today, the coroner ruled her death was suicide. Cheryl James was one of four young recruits who died at Deep Cut Barracks between 1995 and 2002. Privates Sean Benton, Jeff Gray and James Collinson also died from gunshot wounds. An army inquiry found Private James killed herself, but an inquest into her death recorded an open verdict. In 2002, Surrey Police launched a review into all four deaths, concluding there were no grounds for prosecutions. And in 2006, a High Court judge concluded the deaths were probably self-inflicted. But in 2014, the original inquest was overturned, and this fresh inquest into Private James's death was ordered. The coroner said there was a sexualised atmosphere at Deep Cut that he described as inappropriate. But he said there was no evidence that the army or Deep Cut had sexualised Private James. And he said an allegation that a sergeant had ordered her to sleep with another soldier the night before she died was wholly without foundation. The coroner criticised the lack of support for young trainee soldiers at Deep Cut and said there weren't enough female officers. The inquest heard Cheryl James had mixed feelings about being in the army and had talked about wanting to leave. She was described in court as bubbly and popular, but also vulnerable. After more than two decades, Cheryl James's parents finally have answers. Leila Hayes, 5 News.